about we give that praise to Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, our healer, our provider, our way maker. How about we give a praise to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Praise the Lord. Don't want to be a, a blanket on your praise. So if anybody has a praise and they just got to get it out, we're going to give you 15 seconds to get a praise and give it out because God has been so good to us. He's touched our minds and he's touched our hearts. He's given us life and he's given us more abundantly. We woke up in our right mind. He gave us the earnest of our salvation. He gave us his spirit. Woo! He's done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. He has taken all my sins away. Woo! Woo! Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Give honor to the man of God. Our bishop, Pastor Blakenship, to the Bembrys. We have, to the elder, we have life, life more abundantly. Not only life, life more abundantly. For some of you, you were living a, a good life and that was okay. But since you came to the church, now you're living your best life. And through the leadership, man, would not be here if it wasn't for God and it wasn't for the man of God, if it wasn't for the people of God. It's Thanksgiving. I might just scrape this fire spot and talk about the Thanksgiving of the Lord. Woo! I love Jesus. Praise God. Moving on. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 23. Sorry to the sound team, I didn't get my verses. The scripture says, buy the truth and sell it not. Not only that. Wisdom and instruction and understanding. You may be seated in the presence of God. I want to talk for a moment about staying true to the truth. Psalms chapter 119, uh, verse 160. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one that of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Praise the Lord. And if it was true then... It's true now, and it forever will be true. I still believe the oneness of God. I still believe holiness with, without which no man shall see the Lord. I still believe in baptism in Jesus' name. I'm talking about the truth. If it was true back at Azusa, it's true right now. Psalm chapter 100 and verse 5, for the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 89, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Forever. If it's true back then, it's definitely true now and it's going to be true when we pass away. Heaven and earth is going to pass away, but his word will never pass away. Praise the Lord. So we have to stay true to the truth that has been given to us. Any price you or I sell the truth for, no matter how much you think you gain, you always come out on the losing end. 100% all the time. 110% all the time. The book of Matthew in, the, in, in, chapter, verse, uh, in chapter 28 talks about some soldiers that sold the truth, that sold the truth of the Lord. And if we can examine the scripture a little closely, you and I can avoid some pitfall, pitfalls that these men fell into. It was after the crucifixion of Jesus, and the soldiers were around the tomb, and they were just guarding, making sure that nobody comes in and steals the body of Jesus. And all of a sudden, the Bible says that angel descended from heaven, and they fell and became as dead men, right? 
However, we see the goodness of God in this, is that these dead men were revived and had a chance to tell the truth of a risen Savior. However, being startled as the soldiers were, they ran to the chief priest and they said, look, whatever this people were saying about this risen Savior, it actually happened. I saw an angel come down from heaven, move the stone, and I fell as a dead man, but I woke up to come and tell you. So what do you want me to do about it, Mr. High Priest? Well, the high priest said, listen, why don't you tell, us, tell them that uh, some of his uh, disciples came away and stole the body of Jesus. And they gave him a large sum of money. So we can look at a point. They offered them a sufficient amount of money. One of the first pitfalls to betraying the truth. There will always be someone dangling something in front of your face. Hey, take this, take this. It's better than what you got not. Praise the Lord. They offered them a sufficient uh, amount of money. And then the second thing that they offered, they, they offered them an alternative that sounded good, it sounded logical, and it sounded believable. I'm telling you, you and I will encounter certain situations after we've seen everything that we've seen in the Holy Ghost. We've seen miracles, signs, and wonders. There will be something that will try to persuade you from the truth. Now, we're living in a day where truth seems to try to be relative, and truth is what you make it. No, there is an absolute truth. Yeah. Moving on. And we have to stand up and proclaim the truth of God, no matter how radical it, we may seem or how ignorant the world may think we are, we have to proclaim the truth of the word of the Lord. Now, we don't need a soldier spirit. We can't be bought. There's no amount of money. There's no amount of fame that should get you or I to sell this precious truth. Praise the Lord. We don't need a soldier spirit. We don't need a, a, a spirit that says, hey, if it sounds good, if it looks good, I can trade this truth and it will be nothing to me. We need a spirit like the spirit of Naboth. Let's turn to uh, 1 Kings chapter 21. The Bible says, And it came to pass that after these things that Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, hard by the palace of Ahab king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I, have, that I may have it for a garden of herds, because it is near my house. And I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it, if it seem good to thee. Negotiation. And I will give thee the worth of it in money. Again, we see the same opportunity to betray the truth in this particular instance. We're going to give you something that's believable. That's logical, and we're going to offer you something that you almost cannot refuse. Praise the Lord. But we need a spirit of Naboth. I love his response. And Naboth said to Ahab, the Lord forbid it to me that I should give the inheritance of my father unto thee. No way, no how, what I was given, what I give to you. Because there's a generation that's coming, and if I give up this truth, Somebody will be lost. You and I had the truth passed down. I had it passed down. A shirt, a shirtless, shoeless, young African-American man. Somebody went all the way across the town to come and see about my family to bring us this truth. No negotiation. There's a generation that's coming that we have to pass this down to. Stay true to the truth of the word of the Lord. If you have been healed, if you have been delivered by the power of God, don't trade it for anything else and say, oh, that was me. I got, I got to where I am by myself. No, that is a lie. The truth of the word of God got to you where you are. In closing, 
Don't let this, the world, the enemy, or anything cost you the truth that you've been so graciously granted. In Jesus' name.